Hello there, this is Carl from the RO Bucket. Today we're going to be discussing how to properly flush and maintain your RO Bucket during the maple season between uses. Uh, anytime you're done processing your sap, you're always going to want to flush the system with pure permeate water a couple different times. You're going to want to put the bucket in a state of preservative um, if it's not going to be used for two or three days. So we're going to do this in steps. The first step is always going to be to run the system dry and get all of the residual sap out of the system. To do that, you're going to pull your intake suction strainer from the sap you're processing, open the needle valve all the way, and let the system run completely dry until it starts passing air. At that point, you're going to go to step two, which is your preliminary flush. You're going to want to insert your intake suction strainer into five gallons of permeate water, leaving the needle valve completely open, and let that five gallons run through the system at full speed. At that point, you're going to want to pull the intake suction strainer out of that permeate water. Again, let the system run dry, also leaving the needle valve open throughout all these flushes, and let it start passing air. Then you're going to move on to step three. Step three, you are going to take out your um, pre-filter uh, casing by removing the push fittings, press the lock collar in, pull the tube out, open up your pre-filter housing, remove the dirty pre-filter, dump out any residual sap or water. If it's dirty in there, clean it out with uh, clean permeate water, get it nice and clean, and then insert a brand new pre-filter. Once you insert that brand new pre-filter, Put the canister back into your uh, RO bucket. At that point, place the intake suction strainer back into a new batch of clean permeate water, about five gallons, and give it a second flush with a new pre-filter, uh, five gallons again with the needle valve wide open. If you're not going to be using it for two or three days, it's a really good idea to put it in a state of um, preservative. We recommend our membrane preservative. This mixes with a gallon of water. Um, and you can run that through the system for five minutes or so, uh, and just recirculating it. So what that would look like is you would take your intake suction hose, you would place that into a gallon of water, place your permeate outlet and your concentrate tube in the same gallon of water, and just let it run for five minutes. That's going to run that permeate through the entire system. Uh, another thing you can do if you don't have our membrane preservative on hand is you can buy um, hydrogen peroxide from the grocery store or drugstore. That's 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can dilute that with a gallon of water. You want to get it down to 0.25%. That means roughly a cup, a little over a cup of that 3% hydrogen peroxide added to a gallon of water will give you the correct concentration. You can also do that to preserve your membranes between uses. And again, you're only going to be doing that if it's going to be sitting for um, a, a, a longer period of time, two or three days. I hope this answered some of your questions regarding RO maintenance. If you have any more, uh, please let us know and we'll make a video on it. Thank you.